I slumped down and lay my head in my arms. Just gotta rest my eyes a minute. Before long, I feel something touching my forehead. Specifically, someone's finger poking me. Huh? Monica? I rub my eyes a bit and see a clearly upset Monica hovering above me. Ah, crap. Ellie? Were you tapping in the club again? Monica looks unimpressed. Uh, maybe? You can't answer maybe to a yes or no question, Hallie. Either you were or you weren't. So, care to give me an answer? Well, she looks pretty unhappy. Uh-huh. Sorry, Monica, just a bit wiped. Guess I stayed up a bit too late last night. No, Hallie. You know my policy on napping. Absolutely no napping in the literature club whatsoever. But you just couldn't help yourself, could you? Now you gotta face the consequences. Monica pauses for a moment before a smirk creeps across her face. Which just so happens to be a tickle attack. Get him, Sayori. Out of nowhere, I find myself being tickled by a rogue Sayori. <laughs> hey, what the? <laughs> Where'd you even come from? Stop! Cut it out! <laughs> She'll only stop if you apologize for napping. Those are the rules. Oh, okay, I'm so... <laughs> I'm sorry. And you have to agree to buy her a snack, too. Fine, fine, I'll do whatever you want, just stop! Siori's tickle barrage ends, leaving both President and Vice President looking quite satisfied. Ha, <sighs> ha, I take a second to catch my breath. How long were you two planning that? Three minutes! You know the close death in policy, Hallie! Yeah, I do now. I didn't even know the club has a napping policy. That's because it doesn't. At least not until today, it didn't. So I just got tickled and voluntold to buy something for a rule that didn't exist until today? What is this word? Talk about a dictatorship. I thought you'd have a more democratic approach, Monica. Well, the president's rule is absolute. I'm gonna start a mutiny, I swear. Anyway, what do you want for a snack, Siori? Oh, I want one of those huge cookies with all the different chocolates in them. Siori, I meant something I can buy at a vending machine. Oh, <laughs> I want pretzels then. Figured as much, but I thought I'd check just in case. Be back in a sec. Okay, hurry back though, we're gonna share a poem shortly. Alright, will do. I proceed to exit the club room in search of the nearest vending machine to make my contractually obligated pretzel purchase. I guess I was like, volunteer plus told. Anyway, that one was great, Yuri. You've really improved since the last time we shared, I can tell. Oh, thank you. I can say the same for you as well. Your sentence structure and overall composition are much improved since last time. You're becoming a solid writer in your own right, and in such a short time, too. I'm impressed. Thanks, Yuri. That means a lot coming from you. Of course. Keep practicing, and I can envision you becoming quite the poet someday. I wouldn't go quite that far, but thank you. Hey, hold on a second. Isn't practicing spelled with two C's? Or is that a Britishism? Oh, no. I suppose we should move on, but thank you for sharing with me, Hallie. No problem, Yuri. Thanks for sharing yours. Yuri nods as she makes her way over to Yuri's desk. Looks like Monka is my last victim of the day. Hello again, Hallie. Come to show me your poem. Yep. I hand Monica my poem. You better be prepared. I saved the best for last. Ah, I mean, Monica lets out a giggle as I fumble over my words. You sure did. This is pretty good. Short and to the point. I'm curious what you mean by searching the depths of their soul. Do you have your eye on someone, perhaps? A smirk creeps across Monica's face. Yeah, as if I would write a poem to confess my unending love for someone. Do you take me for some kind of hopeless romantic or something? I don't know, are you? What the heck is with this girl? I mean, I technically did take inspiration from her on this one. But in more of a curiosity way, not a romantic one. <laughs> I think if I was, I'd make it a bit more obvious. I'm not smart enough to be that cryptic. <laughs> if you say so, but I'm on to you. I put my hands up in a fake surrender. You got me. 
We share a laugh. Anyway, mind if I see your poem now? Uh, this is kind of awkward, but I don't actually have one today. <laughs> wow, Madam President, that's not setting a very good example, you know. How do you expect your local subjects to follow you into battle when you can't set a proper precedent? My apologies, Lord Darkulus. I shall set a better example henceforth. Perfect. The two of us share another laugh. Hey, you guys done over there? I still need to show Monica my poem and you to work too busy flirting. F flirting My face begins to heat up from Natsuki's remark. Oh, uh, yeah, we're done. Sorry, Natsuki, I'll let you go ahead. It's fine, just keep your flirting outside of the clubroom. I don't want a couple of lovebirds making this place weird. Natsuki, it's not like that at all. Howie and I were just sharing poems. Yeah, yeah, sure. If you say so. Good luck with her, Monica. She bites. <laughs> hey, screw you. I'm good, thanks. Uh oh. I stick my tongue out at Natsuki as I head over back over to my desk. I'm kind of surprised Monica forgot to write a poem. But I guess even Monica makes mistakes sometimes. I'm really starting to worry she's overdoing it. Not having club work done really isn't like her. I don't get why, but I just wish I could lighten the load a bit. Seeing her run herself into the ground just makes me feel sad? No, that's not it. I can't quite put my finger on it. Regardless, it's how I feel, I guess. My train of thought is interrupted by a familiar phrase. Okay, everyone, if I can get your attention. I hope everyone enjoyed sharing poems again. Even though I forgot one myself. I had fun. I missed seeing how good everybody is. Yeah, the festival kind of sucked, but I still like the sharing between us. Natsuki is correct. This was an as enjoyable as always. Yeah, I think, or, yeah, I think so too. It was nice to do an activity again. Yeah, sure, that's why you had fun. Huh? Anyway, I'm glad to hear everyone enjoyed it. Unfortunately, this is going to be the last official club activity for a little bit. Huh? Why? Well, exams are coming up soon and I don't want to overload anyone with the more work that they need. You should all be focusing on your studies and you don't need me putting in more on your plate. So with this in mind, club meetings are also going to be optional until exams are over. I'm going to do my best to come with to them when all still, though. I'm going to do my best to come to them still. Yeah, I guess that works. Just in case anyone would like to discuss literature, study, or just even have a quiet place to relax for a bit. I'll do what I can to help all of you succeed on these exams, so just let me know. That is appreciated, Monica, but are you sure you're not spreading yourself too thin? Yeah, you're always right. You have more stuff on your plate than any of us. Shouldn't you be taking the time to relax? This is, like, the only activity the rest of us have. God knows how he doesn't do anything outside of school. Hey. Low blows, short stack. What did you say? Siri cuts off Natsuki before she blows her top. Yeah, Monica, don't burn yourself out. We'll be fine, right, guys? Yes, please take care of yourself too, Monica. Don't worry, guys, I'll... Fine. I have everything under control, so if you need help, feel free to ask me, okay? Monica continues speaking, but I find myself not really listening as I lose myself in thought. Monica is still trying to take on even more. This can't be healthy for her. But this ultimately isn't my business, is it? If she says she's got things covered, then who am I to say she's not? We're friends, but I'm not sure we're close enough for me to pry into this. She's fine, I'm sure. My train of thought is interrupted by a poke to the forehead. Ah! Hey, what the? Did you hear a word I said? Huh? Sayori. You didn't hear anything, did you? You're really getting bad for that, Hallie. Oh, uh, sorry, Sayori. That's fine, but are you feeling okay? You were zoned out for a good while. Yeah, I'm alright. Just a lot on my mind is all. Nothing to worry about, though, I promise. Siori likes to worry a little too much about me sometimes. I like to try and make sure she knows I'm alright. Otherwise, she won't leave me alone until she finds out what's bugging me. Hmm. If you say so. I'm just not you can 
talk to me if you need to, okay? Of course. Thank you, Sayori. Anyway, let's get going. Yeah, let me just grab my things. I'll meet you at the right or at the door, alright? Okay. Sayori waltzes off towards the front door as I collect my things. I hope I didn't miss anything important while I was off in Dreamland. Sierra and I make our trek home as routine as ever. During our idle chatter, I realize she hasn't told me something yet. So, Sayori. Uh huh? How'd your, re or how'd your retest go? Uh -huh. Sayori. I raise my eyebrow. I think it went okay. I don't know, it was better than yesterday, but I was still a little confused. I guess I did good enough, did it? Or good enough, though. That's good. Just keep studying and do your best on the upcoming exam. We're only halfway through the year, so you still have time, you know. Yeah. I ended up taking, or talking to Monica about it today, and she said she's going to help me study for exams. I do my best to look surprised, not wanting her to know I spent another lunch with Monica. <laughs> oh yeah? That's nice of her. She's probably a better tutor than me, anyway. Probably is an understatement. Monica doesn't fall asleep in my bed when they're supposed to be helping me study. Yeah, and I'm sure Monica isn't also going to cook you dinner beforehand either, huh? Maybe. Sari, please don't make her cook for you. Wait, why not? Is Monica a bad cook or something? No, she's not a bad cook, Sayori. I just think she's a bit overworked right now. I get the feeling she's taking on just a bit too much. Hmm, maybe. She does do a lot. Well, but she did say she was fine, though, and she doesn't seem too overworked. Yeah, I just can't help but wonder if that's not true. I don't know. Forget I said anything. Sorry. No, it's okay. I'm a bit worried too, I guess. I just don't worry about Monica too much. She always seems so put together compared to the rest of us. I'm sure we'd notice if she wasn't okay. You're right. I guess I'm just overthinking things a bit. <laughs> Maybe a bit. You should just focus on making sure you don't fall up your exams. Hey, I'm doing perfectly alright in my classes. Don't worry about me. Sure you are. Siri giggles as we approach her house. Well, this is me. See you tomorrow, Holly. See you later, Sayori. Siri trots off toward her front door as I make the short walk over to my own. I lazily enter my house. Or, hmm? Why did it, like, break away? Making a beeline towards my, or the living room to remove my backpack. Man, that thing seems to get heavier and heavier. I can't wait until I don't have to carry that thing around for a while. Just gotta get through exams. I plop myself onto the couch and let out a long sigh. I'm beat. Since my nap earlier was so rudely interrupted, I'm still pretty tired. I glance at the clock on the wall. Hmm, I could probably swing a short cat nap. I don't feel like moving all that much though. Guess I'll just... Close my eyes for a bit. I wake up and slowly rub my eyes. Man, how long have I been out for? Looking around, I realize the sun is going down already. Clearly I was out long enough that it's now dinner time. I get off the couch and head to the kitchen. As I look around, I realize I really don't have anything to eat. Looks like I need to finally get to the store. There's probably still some daylight left before the sun goes down fully anyway. Guess I'm going for a walk. I grab my wallet and keys and take off for the store. On the walk to the store, I find my mind drifting toward Monica again. What the hell is wrong with me lately? I can't get this girl off my mind, no matter what I do. I don't get it, she's my friend, but... So are the rest of the girls, yet I don't find them stuck on my mind like this all the time. I just don't understand. Do I...? I shake my head. No, what am I saying? I don't. That's just stupid. Monica's my friend. That's it. I let out a sigh as I gaze at the newly budded leaves on the trees, watching the breeze rustle them gently in the evening sunlight. It's a peaceful evening, even the roads are quiet. Yet, I'm busy racking my brain over a girl. Heh, <laughs> putting it that way, maybe I really do. I shake my head again. 
I'm losing my mind. I seriously gotta keep myself occupied with something else. Conveniently, I see myself approaching the store. I quicken my pace, and before I know it, I find myself in front of the store. I stop for a moment before quickly entering. I slowly poke around the store, looking for a few items and meals that I know I'll need. I find myself quickly beginning to fill my basket as I grab item after item. I guess that's enough for now. Though a snack or two wouldn't hurt. As I turn the corner, a familiar pink-haired gremlin comes into view. Oh, hey Natsuki. What are you doing here? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm getting groceries, idiot! Alright, touche. Looks like we're here for the same reason then. Although I thought you lived with your parents. Why are you doing the shopping? Yeah, I live with my dad. It's on me to buy the groceries though. It's called responsibility, you should learn some. Uh, you do know I live alone, right? Did I ask? No, I guess you didn't. Didn't think so. Anyways, why do you care what my living situation is like? You'd be smart to mind your own business, bucko. Ah, my bad. Sorry, Natsuki, I guess that was a bit personal, huh? I didn't mean to pry, really. Oh, don't worry about it. Just stay in your lane next time. Yeah, we will do, Natsuki. Anyway, what are you doing here alone? I figured you'd have Monica with you. Uh, what? Why in the world would I be out with Monica? Aren't you guys a thing now? You think I don't think I don't... Er, yeah. You think I don't think I don't see you two flirting whenever you get a chance? I feel like one of these things is not necessary. Huh? Natsuki, did you hit your head off the corner of a desk or something? What? Just curious, they say you're prone to nonsense if you have a concussion or something. So just making sure. Why you? Uh, forget it, it's like I'm talking to a brick wall. But seriously, you guys were up on the roof sharing lunch the other day. You're seriously trying to tell me that isn't the date? I'm not an idiot. There are only two reasons she'd be spending time with you like that. Oh, is that so? Please enlighten me. Well, she's either doing it out of pity, or she's gone totally nutso and has a thing for you. I bet the farmer, but I guess option two is possible as well. Oh gee, thanks Natsuki. I really have to marvel at how considerate and kind you are sometimes. It definitely wouldn't be that Monica and I are friends, and she just so happens to enjoy spending time with me. Couldn't be that, so thank you for that intellectual insight of yours. Do you like having functioning likes? Because I can make sure they don't work properly anymore. You know, it's hard to take you too seriously when you're basically half my height. Okay, that's it! I turn away slightly as I brace myself for an onslaught of fists from Natsuki. That's it, or that is, until I notice the lack of pain in my shoulder. I look back over towards her and I'm immediately flicked in the forehead. Ah! I... Okay, I deserved that. Yeah, jerk! I gently rub the sore spot on my forehead. I guess I was wrong. No way Monica would date someone like you. I feel a pit form in my stomach. A feeling similar to that of what I felt earlier on the roof. Oh, yeah. Natsuki notices my change in demeanor as her expression softens. Hey, uh, sorry if that was a bit harsh. I was just joking. I'm a bit caught off guard by her sudden shift in tone. Huh? Oh, no, it's fine. You've probably got a point. <laughs> uh, for what it's worth, I think you'd be a good couple. What was that? Uh, I think you guys will be good together, okay? Oh, uh, thanks, Natsuki. That's nice of you to say. But what makes you say that? I don't know, you guys just seem to get along. Monica really doesn't have all that many guy friends. Most of them just roll over her and don't really take her seriously. I know what that's like, and it sucks. So, as much of a dummy as you are, I guess I think you'd make her happy. Uh, I don't know. Just forget I even said anything, okay? It's just something that was on my mind, that's all. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, Natsuki. I'll take that as a compliment. Jeez, you're insufferable! Don't make me take it all back! Alright, alright. I appreciate it, though. But really, there's nothing going on between us. I don't even feel that way about Monica. We're just friends. <laughs> you're kidding me, right? What do you mean? 
You're seriously trying to say you don't have the hots for Monica? Come on, quit joking. I'm not. At least I don't think I am. And then you must be in denial or something. Don't give me that we're just friends crap. You're friends with the rest of us and I don't see you sharing lunch with Yuri or flirting with Sayori. Let's not forget your little love confession at the festival either. Like I've said before, that was to get Monica out of a jam, that's all. Yeah, because that's just something that comes to everyone's mind when they need to help a friend. But hey, if you really want to lie to yourself, be my guest. Just don't be upset when someone else has the guts to ask her out and you're left in the dust. What? Left in the dust? What does she mean by that? Look, you do you. But if you want my advice, you should try and make a decision sooner than later. We're not going to be in high school forever. I stare blankly at Natsuki, unable to come up with a response. Ah, oh, crap, it's getting late. I gotta get going, but I'll see you later, Mr. Hopeless. Oh, uh, yeah, see ya, Natsuki. Natsuki waves as she heads to the checkout with her things. I stand in place for a moment before realizing I still have things of my own. I grab a couple of different snacks from the shelf and stuff them in the basket. Guess I should probably go pay for this. I make my way over to the counter, pay for the items, and exit the store.